Tonight, WTV of 25 News investigates the media war over the Everglades. Lake Okeechobee is now ground zero in a turf war that's playing out in your living room. Morning anchor Paula Grown with the truth test. Follow the money, you'll find the truth. Laco, the watery heart of Florida, now at the heart of commercial combat. What's at stake? $750 million. Oh, and the future of Florida's environment. The money comes from the Conservation Amendment, Amendment 1, you know, the one you voted on last November. Two groups are now staking their claim to all that cash with competing ads. Here's Exhibit A. Again? Health warnings from polluted runoff. Our beaches and rivers threatened. The Everglades Trust is behind this ad. They want lawmakers to buy 46,000 acres of land from U.S. Sugar, south of Lake Okeechobee, to keep all that dirty water out of the Indian River Lagoon. Sounds fair until this. 75% of us voted to amend the Constitution and protect the Everglades. Now there's a binding contract to buy land south of Lake Okeechobee to provide clean drinking water for the Treasure Coast. Buy the land. Save our drinking water. Time is running out. So dramatic. All right, here's the truth. Your vote was never just about the Everglades. I pulled the ballot. Here's the actual language. I'll read it to you. The language includes beaches, shores, outdoor recreation, recreational trails, parks, urban open space, rural landscapes, working farms, ranches, historic, geological sites. So, yeah, this one doesn't pass the truth test. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Another group is airing a counter ad. Roll tape. Florida voters overwhelmingly approved Amendment 1, providing money to clean up our rivers, springs, and lakes, finish Everglades restoration, renourish our beaches, and protect our water supply. Lawmakers are now deciding how to spend Amendment 1 money, and special interest groups want the lion's share for their pet projects. We all voted for it, and we should all benefit from it. Let's remember, Amendment 1 is for everyone. Here's the truth. The group behind this ad is called Florida H2O Coalition, which is a subgroup of a powerful business lobby called Associated Industries of Florida. Check out the headline on their website. It says, Taking Care of Business. Their headquarters is literally on the road that connects the state capitol to the governor's mansion. So when they call out special interests in their ads, that's kind of like a tornado calling a hurricane windy. And we both know they're windy. And who's writing the checks to Associated Industries, you may ask? You guessed it, Big Sugar. I pulled the finance records, nearly 100 grand in the past 18 months. So, a minute one for everyone? Sure. But do they represent everyone? No. The truth test finds this ad false for being misleading. Paul Legrone, WPBF 25 News.